Hi, my name is Andrew Greenfield, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of how to set up your Azure Cloud VPN back to your on-premise. Now, I couldn't have done this without Joe Elishaw or Aaron Lewis. You're going to see them next, and they're part of our IBM Poughkeepsie team. Again, my name is Andrew Greenfield. Let's go into the Spectrum Virtualized for Public Cloud VPN setup now. So after you've deployed your Spectrum Virtualized for Public Cloud, you're going to need to sooner or later VPN it somewhere else, either to another cloud or perhaps on-premise somewhere. These five steps will go into greater detail about how to do that. And I wanted to make sure we go into a little bit more detailed steps, and that's what this video is going to show. The first step is inside your Azure, you're gonna create a new virtual network gateway. So here we go, let's create that right now. Now again, you're gonna select which region. Obviously this is gonna be customer dependent. For me, just to show this off, I am going across the United States. That's right, from Poughkeepsie, New York, all the way through to the other side of the United States, West US 3, just to show off a lot of WAN-based. Now you'll see that we are going to use their VPN Gateway 2, which is out of AZ. And then we're going to obviously give it a subnet address range to make sure it's compatible with your deployment. So make sure that is checked before you get to it. And then of course, you're going to give it a public IP address. If you wanna have more redundancies, for me, since this is a demo, we're only gonna do one. Now this single step, even though it only took about 30 seconds, it can take up to 30 minutes for the Azure backend to finish. So we're gonna skip ahead, and you can see now our public IP address and that virtual network that we created. So now we're gonna create a local network gateway. So let's go into that right now. Now think of the local as how your Azure Spectrum Virtualize is going to communicate out. So again, we're going to select wherever I've deployed my Spectrum Virtualize. I'm gonna grab the region again, and then we're going to name it, no big deal again. Now, this is a tricky part. Sometimes people need to either use a public IP or a fully qualified domain name because of cyber attacks and everything like that, I've graded out, but that's where you're gonna use your publicly facing IP address. And again, make sure you're using the right address space for your virtualized instance inside Azure, as well as where it's going in your on-premise. So you can see that on my on-premise, it's 101. Now then. You can see that we're just going to double check all this. There's that 101 again, and we're going to deploy. This could also take well over five to 10 minutes. We're going to speed it up for you. Key note is that you can click on deployments or that bell in the upper right to see how everything's going. So even though you might have a green checkbox, it's sometimes useful that you go in and take a look at if it's already configured or done, or if it still has some sub processes it needs to do. So the next thing is we're going to add a connection from the local gateway to the earlier cloud gateway that we did. So we're going to name it. And of course, it is going to be site to site. So now we're building on everything that we've created earlier. There's the earlier gateway that we've created. The pre-shared key is what we've generated earlier to communicate to our Cisco device. And now let's as you can see, it's gonna create that connection, but we still have some more steps to go. And remember I told you before about those green checkboxes. So even though those green checkboxes are there, it's still useful to check it or go to the resource to make sure all the subtasks are done. Now, in this case, let's now configure that tunnel for the endpoint, in our case, Poughkeepsie, New York. So this is exactly a very customer specific item that is gonna change for whatever endpoint that you have. You might have a different series of Checkboxes here. And in my case, as you can see, we are changing some of the phase and items for the group and integrities, otherwise known as the encryption keys that are going to be exchanged, the lifetimes. And all of this is very technical. So your firewall administrator is definitely going to want to get involved, or you're going to use the defaults. Either way, you might want to make sure you have these all listed out before you get to this point so that you can do it. Once this is all done, you can see the updating the configurator in the upper right. You can see that it's in progress of doing things. 
Once it's all done, you can then go on and take a look at the actual configuration and make sure that the gateway is hopefully coming back up. Now, this is why I showed that earlier step. You can see how it'll update itself from unknown to connected. And once it is established, then you're off to the races. You've now done a VPN tunnel. So now we can easily show off how we can replicate from on-premise to the cloud, in this case, the Azure public cloud. So I've created a partnership from my Azure in the upper left to my on-premise down below. You can actually see the partnerships. The 192.168 is my Spectrum Virtualize in the cloud. And actually you can see a little bit more of the properties where I can show you that it's now configured properly. It's actually doing the heartbeats. And so I can now start replicating volumes from on-premise or Azure back and forth. I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself, Andrew Greenfield at IBM.com. Look forward to seeing you soon.